All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for another review. This is a Kaiser, and it comes by way of Lefty EDC uh, through the Lefty Pass Around Group. Uh, these are some knives. Well, this is a knife uh, that uh, came uh, from Kaiser to Kevin, and uh, he is passing this around. So uh, let's start by saying, oh, you can't really see him. Hello to Ren and Sippy Powder Test Man Log TV and Choo Choo. And let's get started right here on the Knives Fast channel. Uh, sorry about kind of hiding them, but they cause focus issues. So there you go. Uh, this is the Kaiser Cobold 2, designed by Sebastian Irwan. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce it 154 CM Blade Stonewash. Uh, green micarta and a steel liners and this is a very cool knife uh, a bigger knife so for those of you that that kind of get tired of the trend towards small knives uh, this is one you might like so stay tuned now um, again this is a from a group of new Kaiser knives uh, that has come out recently this is the Cobold 2 now I did not review the original Kobold, so I can't compare it for you, uh, but I can definitely review this one. Now, you've got these uh, cool-looking slashes here in the micarta that go up to the top of the front flipper on the blade. I think that's kind of a cool touch. Uh, you have milling down here, uh, you know, kind of like chamfering but with um, ridges here kind of to give it some contouring uh, because other than that, uh, the scales themselves, as you can see, are flat, and that contouring helps uh, that quite a bit. Um, you do have uh, countersunk screws there. You have a um, right side tip up, uh, deep carry, bent over, bent over, loop over, uh, wire um, steel pocket clip here. Uh, you have a little bit sticking out of your pocket. There is not a left side option. Sorry, lefties. There is a um, lanyard post in the backspacer, which is also micarta, which I think is really cool looking. And you kind of have uh, a texture there. You do have exposed liners here. Um, they are flush. So really, really cool. Pivot is a basic Kaiser pivot. And then you've got this kind of mohawkish looking uh, bl blade um, you know, profile here. Um, and then... The only thing that, that kind of looks, it looks so cool. I just kind of wish it looked more like that. Um, let's see if I can get my hand out of the way and still show you that. Well, come on. Um, I can't really, but you, you get the idea. I just wish it was up a little bit like that because I just think it would give it an even better, there you go, right about like that cooler look to it being down like that it kind of looks like you got blade to handle issues which you don't have uh, that blade comes all the way out to that end as you can see it is um very let's look yep off camera it is very centered um i can't touch that tip but it is right out there to the end so congrats to them on that very well done now you have a hole you have a front flipper um, and that's about all you've got. Now there's some jimping sort of right here, but I can't really do anything with that. Um, I can very easily front flip this knife. Um, the jimping is a little aggressive, so you kind of feel it. But it, what I've learned to do is just kind of put my thumb flat on there and go like that. And, uh, it works like a charm. Uh, the money for me is, uh, the middle finger flick. Uh, very, very good. Can you thumb flick this knife? absolutely uh not a problem there you got room in this hole to come up to the top or to stay down at the bottom now i will tell you if you dig your thumb in you are going to pop that out of the detent the detent is good but it's it's a little light it could be as you can see just a little bit tighter see that i mean it just it's just pretty pretty weak it would snap out of here way better but i think what they did was because this kind of doesn't stick over a lot, uh, which is a pet peeve of mine. The ones that kind of stick over a lot tend to pinch you. This one does not really have a problem because, see, you, you, I mean, unless you're going like this, you're back here and you're clear of it. Um, so I think because of that, they had to make the uh, front flipper, I mean, the detent a little lighter or you would have had a hard time flipping it uh, without chewing your finger off. So I think that's what we're dealing with here. Now you can see, hopefully you just saw, 
This sucker is a dropper. Uh, it is riding on bearings like Kaiser knives are these days. Let me get that box out of the way. It's causing issues. Um, but you can see it is just an absolute dropper. Okay, so uh, four finger grip is good to go. Uh, very, very nice. We do have a couple things to talk about. Your jimping is for the front flipper. It's not really for where your thumb lands. Uh, either in this choked up grip, I'm out here in the backed up grip. Uh, I'm kind of like right here and I am hitting that jimping. So again, not a big deal for me, but I thought that I'd point that out for you guys. Now you also have kind of, you know, because you got this sheep's foot blade, you kind of got a place to get out here and do this kind of detailed cutting, which I think is cool. This is an epic looking sheep's foot blade with a kind of harpoon. Uh, you have um, fingerprints all over it right now. It is kind of a shiny stone wash. Uh, right here, you got your 154 CM. You got Kaiser on the blade. You're always going to have that. You have, um, I think this is Sebastian Irwin, Irwin's logo. Uh, you do have uh, Kobold 2 written right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And you have a little slash right here. I like, I kind of like the relief on the hole. It's kind of like a fuller. Um, it's kind of cool. And then you got a little slash back here. I just think he's done some really cool touches uh, to make it look cool. Now, uh, whoa, uh, that was neat. Um, you can choke up. You do have relief for your plunge grind there. And it is a big, long, slicey, slicey blade. Let's see. Uh, I got to stab a piece of cardboard and get it up here. All right, come on. All right, here we go. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, no issues with cutting. This guy is fantastic in the cutting regard. Very, very nice knife in that. Let me wipe the blade real quick because uh, I, w I was cutting with it earlier today. I carried this one today. Or no, it was yesterday. Anyway, I was cutting with it at some point and I got a bunch of junk all over the blade. So there you go. That should be better. No more fingerprints all over. I mean, just look. It's kind of shiny, but it is a beautiful, beautiful knife. Now, uh, as far as our lockup, um, you have got about a 25 to 30 there. Tiny bit of side to side blade play, no up and down. Um, very cool there. Um, just a really interesting design, guys. I really like kind of the blade forward look of this and the way it is. I mean, I think it would be a fantastic EDC knife. Um, for just about any task. Very cool. All right, let's um, put this up here and talk about where it's available and the specs, and then we'll do our comparisons. Now, I did find this one over at Blade HQ for $89, okay? Um, it is 8.19 inches, 3.66 inch blade, 3.63 inch cutting edge, um, 0.12 uh, nice. Oh, by the way, we've got a really high flat grind here. Oh, come on, focus. You sorry pickle. All right, there we go. Uh, you have a really nice flat grind. I just love the little belly it's got. I mean, this is a lot of people talk about sheep's foot blades like they're not useful. And I say fiddle faddle. I don't know. Whatever I say, I don't agree. Um, yeah, they don't have some aggressive tip, but I don't I don't carry knives for that reason. I don't need an aggressive tip. I'm not going to be, you know, using it for that purpose. In this case, you've got a nice belly for just about anything. And then you've got this tip to get down into packages to, you know, uh, you could use this sucker in the kitchen if you wanted to. Although I was told recently that I was not, um, I was, I did not know enough about uh, chef skills to be talking about kitchen use of knives. So I apologize guys that I'm, I'm not, uh, so I can't really tell you that is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Ha ha. Um, so yeah, really cool. And again, it's made in China by Kaiser 4.06 ounces, uh, micarta, the handle thickness is 0.59. So that's what we were about to talk about. This boy is a thick boy. Uh, it is a very thick knife. And on the surface, I am totally okay with that. I don't mind thick knives, but 
Uh, what we've done by making it thick is the scales are thick. And so in this spot right here, you end up with a 90 right here because it's thick. If they had chamfered, see, you see that chamfer, it kind of ends in here. And so you end up with this almost 90 spot right there and right there. And you can you guys see that? You should be able to see that's pretty sharp. So up here, it feels really good on my hand. But if I'm back like this, it is majorly digging in on my hand right there and right there. Um, not great. When I choke up, is it better? It's still there. It's still there. Now, I will tell you, when you're back like this, you you know, you got a great purchase on the knife. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's still four fingers, but just... But up here, you got plenty of room. But again, that is really irritating right there. Uh, it is does not feel good to me. I would actually, for my use, uh, with longer fingers and bigger hand, I call that uh, a hot spot. Now, the clip isn't bad uh, because, again, that handle's thick and you're kind of ramping around the clip. I don't really have a problem with the clip on this one, but I do have a problem with that. Um, now... There is some skeletonization down in there for weight control, um, weight relief, I guess you would say. Uh, really cool. Now let's do our comparisons. Good grief. Am I really at 11 minutes on this review? Good grief. What am I doing? I don't know. Uh, so there is your uh, Ontario Rat 1, and we're about... Wow, are we really almost the same? Yeah, we're, we're pretty much the same size, and then the Rat 2 is considerably smaller. So there you go, guys. This is the Knives Slow channel today. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I guess I had some interesting things to talk about on this one. Uh, again, $89 at Blade HQ. If you're interested, check it out. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.